Hello and welcome to this video of the Geno Prestige 36 Artemis currently lying afloat here in Nayland Marina listed for sale with us here on BoatshedWales.com 2008 model year and a very nice example as we're about to see this quick walk around video very blustery day here today so excuse the sound quality, it's got to be the top end of a six if not a seven whipping through and it's, it's from the north as well, it's cold, don't like north it is. Anyway here we are, uh, let's get to uh, using this fancy new piece of equipment for this video and make a couple of quick observations as we go around. Yeah so Davids which I quite like that system with the, with the neatness of them when they're not in use. And if I just step that off the boat and uh, we can have a quick look at the size of that transom area and bathing platform. It, the video probably doesn't show it entirely, but that is very large, so plenty of room there for, for dinghies or, well for that matter, seating and barbecues I've known. Boat for one of those one evening, it was very pleasant indeed. Take a quick walk inside, try and get out this wind. So, the teak is in really good condition all through. Obviously, it's uh, got teak steps as well up to the flybridge, and really rather nice, very well looked after boat. I've known this particular boat for some while and uh, I was helpful with Terry who bought her. He actually bought her from the south coast when she was nearly new and uh, he was a very fastidious owner. Known him well over the years with Terry, his dear Terry. And then I brokered her for Terry to Steve. He was another fastidious owner who as it happens also didn't use her a great deal hence he placed her for sale and I brokered her for him to John the current owner who's now immigrating out of the UK and has placed the boat for sale. So credit where it's due all of those owners in succession all of whom I know very well have all looked after this boat immensely well. Good levels of equipment all through. I'm thinking of you know, thrusters, autopilots, decent plotter, which is the uh, Raymarine E120 up there. It's a bit of a weird lighting uh, effect in here, I'm afraid. It's yeah, a bit bright. So there's dark corners coming up on this video. Um, so yeah, fly-by-wire controls on the low hours, well-serviced engines. Internal woodwork's lovely, of course. Uh, over here is our Eber, uh, Weber, Webasto cabin heating. So we've got cabin heating, we've got autopilots, the bow thruster, good levels of equipment all through, trim tabs, etc. Yeah, everything you'd everything you'd want. So coming down. The companionway steps into the galley. Find the step. Three ring gas burner, microwave sitting there just behind the dehumidifier, twin sinks, hot water obviously, and nice fridge freezer. Floors, exceptional condition, upholstery is actually newish. Um, I think, I want to say 12 months old roughly, but a really nice job has been done on that. Really nice, very clean everywhere. Yeah, floors and woodwork everywhere is nice. Headlining's the same. Just pan up to the headlinings. No smokers, no pets ever on this boat. And we'll all come down below a bit. I've just noticed it's rather dark in the forward cabin. That's because I uh, let's turn some lights on. That's because. Oh, the lights are on. Yeah, yeah we've got, at the moment the sunbed is on the foredeck. 
and that covers the the skylight I'm just panning around here again lovely condition everywhere all very clean just very nice pleasant boat guest cabin two singles and the heads arrangement, which we'll have a look at in a second. Oh, one of my favourite features. Hang on, let's, uh, let's show you this quickly. Ice maker. Excellent idea on the boat. Yeah, cool. So, background for the heads. So Jack and Jill doors, ensuite to the forward cabin. That accessible as the day heads from out here as well as the as well as the guests. Don't ask me what happened there, I pressed a button. Not sure what I did. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna put I won't be putting Steven Spielberg out of work with these videos yet. That's for sure. Electric flushing loo, very nice, and uh, really clean in here, all the mirrors and chrome and everything like that, all very pleasant indeed. So the boat generally is very light use anyway, but those that usage has been yeah, yeah, this, device is playing up again now this is a case of having all the gear but no idea what I think's going on anyway thanks for bearing with me and being patient while I make a mess of, make a hash of this and up onto the fly bridge windy up here sorry but uh, just so we'll keep this brief but we've got uh, repeated instruments plotter pilot speed depth engine instrumentation thruster tabs EVC controls fly-by-wire -wire throttles all repeated on the flybridge for a 36 foot boat this is a remarkably remarkably good size flybridge we've got a chaise lounge table with the helm seat swivels which I'll put into that position so you can sit around with your friends and there's a the back seat there the rear seat that actually drops as well the backrest is in the up position but it actually folds and uh, joins up with the cushion behind and that makes one massive sunbed uh, on the subject of sunbeds I made the effort to put the cushions on the foredeck so I ought to show them off there they are no small challenge was that in the Force 6-7, single-handed. So while we're up here, we can also, we're looking at that uh, teak floor is all in good condition everywhere. We've got um, a, a full cover, which is that there, over the flybridge as well as a tonneau cover for the flybridge so one of each which is rather nice let's get out of this wind so thank you so much for taking the time to look at this rather poorly filmed video but uh Practice makes perfect, eh? Thanks for watching. Any questions, do give us a call. BoatshedWales.com. I'm Mike, and thank you for taking the time to look at this video.